What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Hype Fan Eagle, representing the Philadelphia Eagles by way of New Jersey, man. Let me get a bird call. Bird call is like a roll call. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> you already know, man. Thank y'all for viewing this video, man. If you haven't yet, man, please like and subscribe to my channel where you can get my thoughts and opinions and updates on the Philadelphia Eagles, man. And also, you can view all my short videos as well, man. I got some nice short videos, man. Let's get into it, man. But before I get into it, man, um, it is now currently uh, uh, 37 degrees with a high of 67. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be real good today. It's going to be real good today, man. So I'm excited. I can't wait, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be real nice. I wish I was home, but unfortunately, I'm at work. But, man, let's, let, let, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, and I'm going to get into, you know, the people who got signed and stuff like that. So we signed... A linebacker, Hassan Reddick. If you want to call him a defensive end or drop down linebacker, I'm cool with that. But we signed linebacker Hassan Reddick, which is a good thing. I am so happy we signed him. Thank God we signed him. Thank God, thank God. Now, he's still young. He only been in the league for five years. This would be his um no, this would be his sixth year, I believe. He got drafted 2017. He played um he played four years in Arizona, one year with the Carolina Panthers. So uh, his year with us would be his sixth year. Um, I'm excited about that. You know, he's from the um, he, he's from the Philly area and stuff like that. Um, everybody kept saying, welcome home to Hassan Reddick. That would be good. Um, if we could still end up keeping Fletcher Cox, that would be a plus. That would be a plus for the defense, for the defensive line, period. For, 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 the, for the defensive front, period, that would be a plus, man. I'm so excited. We needed to generate pressure. You know, we need to generate pressure. Also, we needed somebody that can uh, contain the edge. Some of the clips that I saw from him, he's a real good, he's a real good uh, edge rusher. I like that. You know what I'm saying? He, he know how to read. He know how to read and react, especially the games when he played uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. When, um, you know, if you go, if you go on the video clips, how he, um, how he uh, read the read option with Jalen Hurts and he, he actually sacked Jalen Hurts and stuff like that, or he got to Miles Sanders during the read options. If you could just look at his read and reaction, it was, it, it was bar none. It was bar none, so I'm happy at that. Another thing that I want to address is the fact that um, they, they're, they're rumors and stuff that we are interested in Juju Smith-Schuster. I'm not mad at that. Uh, would I go after a DJ Chalk over Juju Smith-Schuster? Yes, of course. But I'm not mad if we do sign Juju Smith-Schuster. He got the body stature, you know. He's not a little guy. He could, he could, uh, he's real good in the run block. Also, he he can be aggressive. Yes, he had two down seasons where he wanted to do all his dancing and stuff like that. But did I see the potential in him still? Yes, I saw the potential in him still. I'm not mad if we go out there and get a Juju Smith-Schuster. He he can be aggressive, you know. He can be a go getter. He can go up and go get the ball. I'm not mad at that. He's still young. So hopefully he's he's past all of that immature stuff where he got to do all that dancing and TikTok, TikTok stuff. Hopefully he he gets the game. Hopefully he come to the conclusion that he gets the game. He need to be humble and go out there and bust his ass. So I'm not mad if we go out there and get Juju Smith-Schuster. But like I said, would I prefer DJ Chalk? Yes, I would. I would prefer him all day, every day over Juju Smith. But if we en do end up getting him, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. He now... I can, I can say now he's a veteran uh, wide receiver. I'm not even going to say veteran. He's a seasoned wide receiver. So he's seasoned enough for us to go get him. You dig what I'm saying? That, that, that'll that leave Devontae Smith on the outside. Juju Smith-Schuster on, uh, on the other outside. He could be our number two. And Quez Watkins on the inside. And you could alternate Quez, between Quez and um between Quez and Jalen Rager. That'll, that'll be nice. Also, you know... Also, we could use Kenneth Gainwell as a wide receiver, too. Like, we got a lot of weapons on the offensive side. We got a lot of sneaky weapons. I just don't want to let that go past y'all head. When I look at it, man, our running game is real good. You know, hopefully Miles Sanders pick it up this year, but we need to use Jordan Howard way more than what we did last year. Boston Scott, we need to use him running game, passing game, way more than we did last year. So we really got weapons, man. And with an addition with Juju Smith-Schuster or DJ Chalk, that'd be real good. Yo, that'd be real good. So once again, man, I'm proud that we signed, you know, Hassan Reddick. I, I love it, man. I love it. I really love it, man. But I feel like we need to just be a little bit more aggressive in the free agency, man. A lot of people is getting 
signed, man. So let me go through these signees real quick, man. You know, let me go through a couple of people who got signed. I'm not going. I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to keep y'all. But let me just go through them real quick. Chris, Christian Kirk got signed to the Jaguars, four years, seventy-two million. So you could cross him out. You can cross him out. Cedric Wilson from the Cowboys. Let me just tell you, man. We ain't really, we ain't gotta be too worried about the NFC East, man. I'm sorry, man. They not making no moves, man. They not. Amari Cooper went to the Browns. Cedric Wilson, he just got signed. Cedric Wilson just got signed to a three-year deal. You know, uh, he went to the Miami Dolphins. We don't, we don't, we listen. The NFC East, we don't have to worry about anything, man. We got this in a bag, man. Listen, even, even if we're a mediocre, a mediocre team next year, I expect us to be number one in the East. I expect us to be number one in the NFC East. We we gonna be in our bag next year, in our bag, for sure. The Jaguars signed wide receiver J, uh, Zay Jones to a three-year deal. The Jaguars is really heating up. They picking up everybody. They picking up everybody. You know, I I, I thought we could have got cornerback Carlton Davis, but he resigned with the Bucks. He definitely resigned with the Bucks, so that's out. Uh, J C Jackson. I thought we could have had an attempt at him. But he signed, J.C. Jackson signed with the Chargers. Yo, the Chargers, I'm sorry, yo. Chargers about to be scary. Khalil Mack, J.C. Jackson, uh, Asante Samuel Jr. Um, uh, who else they got back there? Oh, my, yo. Yo, they going to be scary, scary, yo. Scary, yo. Scary, yo. Philly, man, we need, we, need to, uh, we, we, we need to be more aggressive, man. We need to go get somebody, a linebacker. Hey, yo, hey, yo, if we get a real good linebacker, I'm I'm cool with that. Like I'm I, I be I be so happy if we get a real good linebacker, man. There's there's still some pieces out there, baby. There's still some pieces out there, man. So this is just a little update, man. This is a little update. I'm not gonna go through all the signees right now, but this is a little update, man. If, if you haven't yet, man, please like and subscribe to my to my channel down below, man. I appreciate y'all viewing this, man. I'm about to head into work, man. I'm pretty late, but I had to do this video for y'all. Really, I had to do this video for y'all. So, like, subscribe down below, man. It's your boy, Hype Fan Eagle, man. Let me get a bird call. You already know. Brrr. Yo, I just got breaking news, yo. Breaking news, yo. I had to do this for y'all real quick. DJ Chalk just signed to the Detroit Lions, B. It's a wrap. We're not getting DJ Chalk. We are not getting DJ Chalk. He just signed to the Detroit Lions, man. So we got no choice but to get Juju Smith-Schuster at this point. I just wanted to update y'all real quick. This your boy Hype Fan Eagle, man. I'm out.